Hey, what's up guys? Josh here and this is a quick tip of the week. Okay, so we're gonna get straight into it. Now, um, this, uh, I think I've gotten just a few requests. Um, it's basically on manipulations and how you pretty much combine everything together. Um, it's, uh, this is pretty much like the main task of manipulations is to try to make everything look like it's in the same scene. Make sure that it, like, say a picture was taken and you wanna add something into that picture, you have to make sure that it has like the same lighting and just different stuff like that. So we're just gonna do a quick little uh, tutorial on how to, on how to uh, one technique on how to do that. So uh, we're gonna do, um, in my one of my latest speed arts, it's uh, sort of a floating uh, mountain coming out of the sea and I sort of blended in uh, a waterfall, like a middle uh, waterfall, right in the middle of the whole scene. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so you're gonna take a quick picture of a, uh, or just find a picture of a uh, sea or ocean or anything, just make sure that you have like a nice open area that you're able to use, maybe some mountains in the background or something. And they're just gonna go to file, and they're just gonna go to place, and then find a nice picture of a, of a waterfall. I used um, Niagara Falls, and then I just uh, found a nice quality image, and then just place it. And then you just have to do shift, alt, doesn't really matter. And then just make it into a nice size. This one's a little tilted, so I'll just tilt it to make it flatter. Okay, so now you're just gonna find the area that you wanna put your waterfall. So um, I'm probably gonna leave it right here. Okay, so now I can just zoom in a bit and make sure that I have a brush. Now, now this brush, the hardness has to be at zero. And the size, I would, I would take a, a rather larger brush just to make things easier. So you're not really gonna touch the uh, waterfall itself, just the things around it. So just make sure there's no sharp edges and try and get the other water that's in the picture out, just the waterfall itself and that should be good. So even down here where there's sh uh, sharp edges, just take that out. All right, so now all you have to do is once you did that, just do control or command J depending on what a computer you have and then just do control T. And then up here, there'll be these little values that you uh, can uh, control. I'm gonna go to the W value, which is the width. And then I'm gonna click right here before the 100, before it. And then just put a little minus sign in there. Um, and then just do enter. Now what this does is just completely switches the, uh, the uh, image. It basically does like a mirror effect. So then I'm just gonna quickly push it over to the left. Now here you're gonna wanna stop it when the other picture stops, all right? So it should be about right there, okay? Now you can see that it's sort of greenish. It doesn't really blend in well. You need to, it doesn't, it, it won't work. So what you're gonna do is just um, select the top one and hold shift and select the bottom one and then just right click and then do merge layers. So you have one layer. So now this is all one layer as you can see. Okay, so let's put it back. Right. So uh, you're gonna go all the way up here to image and then adjustments and hue and saturation. This is one technique that I really like to use and you have to pick colorize. Now you're gonna have to try and blend, uh, put this color, uh, put, change it to the color that is the water surrounding it. So now this might take a little bit. You're gonna have to play around with the settings. Just try and do whatever you can. Maybe brighten it up a bit. Maybe saturation. Okay, actually I'm gonna, there you go. This one I sort of erased a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna merge them two together so you can see it clearer. And then I'm gonna go back to what I did, and colorize, and then just play with the settings as much as you can. Um, just try and blend it in the best you can. Okay. 
Okay. No, I think that's I think that's good enough. Uh, you see these little dark spots right here. You can just take the eraser and just get rid of that and make it even look more like an edge. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So now that these dark spots are gone, now it looks very uh, more realistic. I would, in an actual manipulation that I would create, I would probably spend a little bit more time on it, but. Uh, for this purpose uh, of a tutorial, this should be fine. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully this was very useful and hopefully you use this in any manipulations or even backgrounds if you want soon. Uh, guys, if this uh, if this was helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like. Um, and also, if you want to learn more about uh, Adobe Photoshop, uh, Cinema 4D, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Illustrator, then please do subscribe, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.